This video shows how to make a flue gas measurement using the Testo 320B. Whenever taking a flue gas reading, make sure the boiler has been running for some time to get stable readings and to avoid excessive CO. Connect the gas probe by lining up the arrow on the connector, push it in and twist. When you turn the analyzer on, it'll automatically zero the sensors, so make sure the probe is in fresh air. The 320B sensor zeroing takes just 30 seconds and during this time you can select the flue gas test from the menu and select the required fuel type from the list. The analyzer should show 21% oxygen if it's been zeroed in fresh air. Now insert the probe into the flue using the cone to make a seal around the test point and if necessary adjust the depth of the probe so the tip is in the middle of the flue. With the probe now in the flue and the analyzer ready, press start to begin measuring. With the 320B you can configure the display to show up to 8 parameters in any order you want. Here we've set it up with flue temperature at the top, then ratio, O2, CO, CO2. When you're happy with the readings, press stop which stops the pump and freezes the results on the display. The measurements can be saved or added to a clipboard. If they go on a clipboard, then other measurements such as differential temperature or tightness and let by can be made and stored on the same clipboard for printing out as just one ticket. The 320B is a good quality rugged instrument. It's easily maintained with a couple of simple checks and annual calibration. Remember to always check the condensate trap before measuring. Water can damage the sensors, so don't operate the analyzer if it's full of water. And regularly check the filter in the probe handle, which is really easy to do on any Testo analyzer. If the filter's dirty, then throw it away for a new one. If it's wet but clean, you can fit a dry one and keep the old one to dry out.